Welcome to Best Incorporated Soldering Tip of the Month. Hi, my name is Norman Meir and I'm an IPC Master Instructor. Today's video stream will be how to install and solder properly a through-hole component. What you see in front of you is a axial leaded component and we are going to install it into R1's location. If you were following our video tips, you noticed last month we did prepping for this. Now this month we will actually install the part into the circuit board. Everything has been previously done. We have cleaned the board. We have uh, put lead-free solder on our component leads. And that's and next thing we'll do is install it. The solder we'll be using is a .020 SAC 3.5 solder. The tip we'll be using is a chisel tip and it fits the pad just right just like you're seeing in the picture right here okay okay so the first thing that we want to do is to install our part into just the like circuit that. board okay I use a heat resistive pad to hold it first in place got to do is flux the hole up just like so next thing I'm gonna do is clean off my tip very well and I'm going to put a small amount of tip on the area that is going to hit the circuit board. You just want to just do a little bit, not a lot. You don't want to fill the hole completely up. Okay, now we're going to come in, hit the pad and the lead at the same time, a little bit of solder there, and then come right back off. Okay, I am wiggling it, and you notice that it is not moving. I'm going to put a little solder back on the end of my tip to clip the leads off before you completely solder it into place. The standard for class 3 requires that it cannot exceed 1.5 millimeters off the board. Class 2 is 2.5 but it's just a process indicator. And for class 1, as long as it doesn't violate any minimal electrical clearances. Well a dime is approximately 1.3 millimeters thick so if you lay it flat against the board just like so, come in here with your cutters, holding your finger on top of that lead and let it fall off. Then come over to the other one and do the same thing and now it's cut approximately 1.5 millimeters away from the board. Flux to both leads again okay, okay. just like verifying so. that it is nice and clean and it is no solder residue anywhere laying it right there beside the lead hit the solder hit the pad do not leave that area just flow you in some solder just wiping it across then come back out then you slide it over and we're going to do that other one just the same way. Okay, lay your solder right here. Hit the solder and the lead at the same time. Flow it in. And then come right back off. Okay, now you've got your hit holes filled completely. It looks a little concave from the top. Okay, next thing you will do is you clean your board. thoroughly clean, we want to inspect it. Okay, what you want to do is completely wet it out to the edges of the pad just like we're looking here concave in appearance in other words an inward appearance like this one here or even better yet like this one okay if you notice it's concave wet it all the way out to the edges here feathered inward and up the lead okay can you have copper exposure on the top yes Expose, exposed base metal is fully acceptable along the edges of your part on the tops and around the periphery of your pad area it's fully acceptable so we notice both these look really nice. So let's flip over the board. Okay, and look, look it's wetted all the way out to the edges too. And there's no lifting of the pads or anything. Let's go to the other side and take a look at that. Is oh that looks beautiful. Look at that. Okay, it is concave in appearance again. And if you notice it looks kind of grainy. Lead free solders will have that grainy appearance. Hope you've enjoyed this little demonstration and you have a nice day. Thank you.